Hello, Ocean Ambassadors. I'm Jennifer, and today we'll be exploring the laboratory here at the Marine Mammal Center. Let's go. When a patient first arrives at the center, we're going to measure them and weigh them and take a blood test. That blood test is critical to understanding why that patient is here at the center. Once we've collected the blood sample, we're going to put it into a machine to analyze it. The machine that we're going to put this blood sample into is called a hematology analyzer. It's gonna give us a complete blood count. That includes the white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets that are in the sample. This will inform us, especially if there's a lot more white blood cells than red blood cells, that that patient is fighting an infection. After we get the results back from the complete blood count, we're gonna take a closer look at this blood sample. The way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna take a drop of blood on this slide and create a nice thin layer across of it so that we can look at each of the cells more closely. This will help us distinguish between the white blood cells, the red blood cells, and the platelets, even get as close as looking at the cell nucleus. Once we've prepared our slide with our smear, we're going to go ahead and stain it. That's done simply by putting it into some ink and preparing it through this process so that we can review it underneath the microscope. Specifically, what we're looking for in this slide is the number of white blood cells that are present. Depending on what type of white blood cells, and there are five that mammals have, it can tell us whether or not that patient is suffering from an infection. Another test we do in our laboratory is to actually separate out the different parts of the blood. We use this machine here called a centrifuge, which spins around a sample like this and separates out those different components. Now that we've separated out the serum from our blood sample, we're going to place it in this body function machine. The body function machine is going to tell us all sorts of things about what's going on within our patient's body. That includes how the liver or kidney is performing, um, are they dehydrated, malnourished, what are their blood sugar levels. This is incredibly important in helping us diagnose why this patient has come to us at the hospital. Something else that we might analyze in our laboratory is a fecal sample. You got it, that's right. We're looking at our patient's poop. I know. What we learn from our patient's fecal sample is what's going on inside their body. Specifically, we're usually looking for parasites. Sometimes it's too many parasites. Maybe it's identifying just one parasite that's extremely unhealthy for that patient. Our veterinarians order these tests and we analyze them right here in the lab. Our patients live in the pools here, and so it's incredibly important that we make sure that we create a healthy artificial environment for them. One way we do that is by testing water quality and looking at what's growing in the water that our patients are living in. Each week, we bring these water samples back to the lab where we analyze it, specifically looking at what type of bacteria is growing in our pools. We would take this water sample and actually create a culture where we would see what would grow within 24 to 48 hours and look at whether or not that amount of bacteria was healthy or not for our patients. Ocean Ambassadors, now that you have a better understanding of what we do here in our laboratory at the Marine Mammal Center, it's your turn. Today, you will become expert lab technicians and prepare your own sample. What will you find?